Hi everybody, Adam here, and we are gonna be taking you through a 30 minute hit workout. Today's workout is going to be upper and lower, but it's gonna have a greater emphasis on lower. You're gonna need a chair, and your awesomeness, and your enthusiasm, and your resolve, and your willpower, and your perseverance. All those good character traits that we know are to be so valuable when we're working out. Hey, uh, we're gonna get you warmed up, and then take you through an overview, and then maybe, just maybe, if you're good, if you're good, Rebecca might show up. All right, so do real good in the world. Hey, my friends, let's warm up with some chain breakers. And like I had said a moment ago, you're gonna need a chair, and you might as well have it handy now so that we can use it for part of our warm-up stretching routine. Oh, let's, good, let me get a chair to film this. Let's take this at the tricep swings. In the absence of Dioji, Becca will be here to test our focus. Let's circle back one, forward one, back one, forward. Get back, forward, and then bring them up, follow one, the other. What do we call this thing? Helicopter? Thoracic rotation. <laughs> Helicopter, I like that better. It's much easier. <laughs> and stop, hands down, neck rotations. Oh, that one's called neck rotations. Oh, very good. Mm. Drop your chin, high to low. Center up, right to left. Deep breathing. Something right here just popped. I heard it. Did you hear that? Good gravy. That was the plaque in your carotid artery just going into your brain. And stop. Trunk rotation with a nice pivot. Five, four. Is this going to be an antagonistic workout? <laughs> it's so Three, hot. <laughs> Sorry. Two. One, side bends, push the hip. We'll stop doing those squats. It won't be as hot in here, back. <laughs> this is all I can do. Uh, one more. Okay, scorpions. I'm gonna put my chair center, just so I don't kick it. Ooh, hook those heels, hook those heels. Depending on how tall your chair is. I don't know what you got. You got like a Game of Thrones chair? You won't be able to do this <laughs> next part. But if you got something reasonable, let's do some circles and just try to bring your knee up. High as the back of your chair. If you're super ninja, I guess you could swing your foot over your chair. Okay, let's circle the other way. Okay, so using the back of your chair, let's go into a runner's lunge. We'll keep our chest up, push our hips down, our rear heel down for about five, four, three, one, we can kneel, just push in with your hips, and if you feel like, you know what, I got more range of motion in me, what you do is you rock your chair up, and give it just a little bit of a lunge to your body. Five, four, three, two, one. It's okay to use your chair as an aid to help yourself come up. What we wanna do is shorten the length of our stance to about the length of a natural walking step, and then what we're going to do is push the chair forward, keeping our front knee as straight as we can and our hips square to the chair as best as we can. As we push, we push our hips back too. So push the chair forward, hips back, and now we want to get a nice hamstring stretch and a nice shoulder lat stretch. Ooh. How you doing over your back? Chilling. Tell me something about life. Um, What's your personal philosophy on life? Mine. Get sunshine every day. Sunshine every day. Okay, again, bend your front knee, head up, and then it comes up. We switch, runner stretch on the other side. Hog more than half the bed. That is a philosophy. Close the lid on the toilet seat. What? Close the lid on the toilet. <laughs> so if it was like. If you had to have a sign that had your personal philosophy and you carried it around. It One of those might be it. Okay. Go ahead and kneel again. Lunge in. Chop up your bell peppers in advance. Do you feel good? Chair forward. You know what my life philosophy is? You bought the chocolate? It sounds more like yours. No. That's yours. Don't eat avocado. Mm -hmm. That's a life philosophy. Go ahead and stand up. Shorten the length of your lunge. Hips Never square. Mind. Straight leg. Hips back. Chair up. What was that? <laughs> Never buy sour cream. 
Why is that so food related? Your philosophy is all about food? <laughs> Um, be kind. Oh, I like that. Your Train hard, be nice. That could be a good one. Okay, I'll go with that. Burgers are good for breakfast. That's good too. Wait, it's kind of back to food. Yeah. Still back to food. It's on your mind. Are you hungry? No, actually, I'm very satisfied. Go ahead and bend your knee and look up game. So now two choices. You can sit down, cross your leg, grab your foot, hold, stretch your glutes. Or if you're a little more limber, daring, Go ahead and fold your leg up and on your chair. Drop your rear leg back. Let's get a nice glute stretch right here. Almost ready for action, team. It is hot today, though, man. Holy guacamole. I am covered in sweat right now. Are you with me, Ben? Hey, how you doing? Okay, game, come on up nice and easy. Other side. Standing tall, take a big breath in. Let it out slow. One more big breath in. Let it out slow. Shoot, are you ready for action? Let's have some fun getting fit. So exercise number one is plank jumping jacks. Fit your hands onto your chair however they're most comfortable. I usually like my palm heels right at the edge and my fingers raining down the side. That gives me a good, secure grip where I feel safe. I step back into a plank, which could be the entire exercise. You can step apart, step together, just to get some dynamic movement. Otherwise, keep things recruited and you hop one, two, three, four for maximum reps. Exercise number two is a step up knee raise. Now, whenever you do the knee raise, it's basically doing a standing commando crunch, an abdominal core exercise. I always go center of my chair, tuck my knee, and then I'll bring myself back down. Then I want to switch to the other side. Now, if you don't feel safe doing that, then what you can do is you can go elbow to knee from a standing position and create a nice abdominal crunch.
incline push-ups, you can go to the seat of your chair. Just be careful you don't bury your face into the chair. I'm gonna do it the exact same as when we did the jacks, fingers raining down the side. Drop in, press away. Now, there are some folks who will have a chair where they feel secure going to the back end, and I have my hands in a different grip with my palms dead center on the back, fingers forward. Bring my chest to the edge of the chair and then push away. The next exercise is jump squats. Now, this could always be just butt tap squats on and off the chair. Otherwise, we sit, we leave, we sit, we leave, and we don't wanna land hard. We wanna go gentle and then off of the chair. Failing that, if you need something that's less dynamic, go to a wall and let's do a wall sit. Commando donkey kick. This is a twofer. Now, we pick a leg, plank, draw our knee up into the middle, and then straighten the leg back off the ground and lift our heel as high as we can. Comes right back through, back, and up. Now, if you can't bring the knee through the middle and up, let's try just the donkey kick. From here, take one foot off the ground, lift, and lower.
Next exercise is tricep dips. Not always the easiest to do. You can do a static hold on the chair, which will recruit the triceps. You don't get the dynamic motion, but you can still get some strength training. I can have my feet down, and this will help me support more of my body weight, or I can straighten out. Now the tricep dips are gonna be a bit harder. Keep your back close to the chair. A good rule of thumb is if you can get to 90 degrees, you've gotten to full range of motion. Bulgarian split squat. Oh man, okay, so one leg on. I like the ball of the foot for base. I step away and I have to try to get enough width that I feel centered. I drop, keeping my front knee behind my toes and then I press through that front heel to come up. This is a two first, so next time we're gonna do the other leg. If you can't get on the chair like that, let's do a different exercise. One legged position, calf raises. A little bit of steady in, press and lower. Last exercise is a burpee, but without a push-up. So, using our chair, we squat, keep the legs back, legs in, leave the ground. Right here, leave the ground. You can always step, and then leave the ground, or take the jump out.
everybody, if you don't mind, like this video, it really helps us out, and leave a comment, let me know if you're like on Becca's side or my side, as far as, you know, when these th these antics happen, or you're like, oh, come on now, Becca, is, you know, she's so adorable, so, you know, we can let her get away with everything, and Adam's a hideous troll man who sweats too much, and he, we just not on his side, or whatever the case is. If you haven't subscribed, this is the best outro I've ever done. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, and thank you so much for working out with us. I hope you have a great rest of your day. What? What? <laughs>